In this video, I'd love to share with you some tips and strategies on how you might organize files and folders inside your business so that it's easy for yourself and team members to find things when you're looking for it. Now I'm talking about things like files in Google Drive or wherever you're storing your files, your systems and your processes, your project management. There's a simple framework that we use here at Systemology that you'll be able to apply. And I think it's gonna really help you. So um, this question was actually spawned by Joe, one of our systemologists who had mentioned he was bringing on a new team member and he was just showing how he's currently laid things out and was looking for some suggestions. So some systemologists started sharing some ideas on the way that they've structured their folders. And what I'd love to share with you is the way that we do it. Now, uh, I'm gonna start off just, this is our account, and you can apply this thinking no matter the tool that you're using. The basic framework is understanding that your business is a collection of systems, and if, if your business is one big system and you have subsystems uh, that sit underneath that big systems, how might we compartmentalize? How do we break that up? Well, I like to think about, about it in terms of the department. So you might have admin and finance, human resources, management, marketing, operations, and sales. And already these top ones here, you can start to go, oh, that's an interesting way to break things up that you can then apply no matter the platform that you're using. So if it's file storage, you'll notice uh, we're using these folders. So anything to do with finance would appear in that folder. Anything to do with the operations, the delivery of the product or the service or working with clients would appear in that folder. Anything to do with marketing would be in that folder. And if I drill into some of these, you can then start to see all of the assets related to marketing. Now we can take that same approach and then apply it in our project management platform. Again, it doesn't matter what tool you're using, it's more the thinking. And you can see we use Asana here. And similarly, we have management, finance, HR, marketing, sales, there's operations a little bit further down and some tech. And you'll be familiar with these uh, headlines here because, or those um, components or areas, because it kind of mirrors what we're doing over in Google Drive. Similarly, inside System Hub, which is our uh, SOP management software, you can see we have the same sort of folders, finance, human resources, marketing, operations, sales. And as we start to open these things up in here, you can then start to see the different product lines. And it's this idea, you're looking for the same way of organizing and thinking so that once the team member gets it, regardless of what platform they're on, if they're looking for something, they can have a shot at trying to find it. They can go, oh, okay, well, this is about marketing. Okay, well, I'm gonna look in the marketing folder. Ah, this is about sales, it's in the sales folder. Similarly, ah, this task I'm, I'm looking for inside my project management folder. Well, okay, well, I'm going to, in project management, go to that particular department. Similarly, in System Hub, and if you just think about that and you apply that to any of the tools that you're using when uh, you're using them and you get the opportunity to be able to customize like that, it just starts to train the team of, ah, this is how we structure things. If I don't know where to save it, well, at least I've got a basic framework that I can think about. So anyway, that's a little bit of uh, some tips and suggestions on how we do it here at Systemology. Of course, if you wanna find out a little bit more about the work that we do, you can head over to uh, Amazon, grab yourself a copy of the Systemology book, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video.